Kennedy Airport in New York was the scene of a daring robbery many years ago that resulted in a surprising arrest today. Justice correspondent Bob Orr reports that the FBI collared an alleged mobster in connection with the heist that inspired a movie. It was an arrest 35 years in the making. Vincent Acero, a reputed captain in the Bonanno mob family, was charged today with a catalog of crimes. Racketeering, murder, extortion, and robbery. Not just any robbery, but the brazen 1978 heist at the Lufthansa offices at New York's Kennedy Airport. Prosecutors say Acero was a lookout who helped thieves make off with $6 million in cash and jewelry. At the time, officials said gunmen broke in and rounded up eight Lufthansa employees. They uh, handcuffed them and forced them to open a security room or safe or whatever you want to call it. Prosecutors say Acero was part of a holdup crew led by Lucchese crime family associate James Burke. Jimmy Burke died in prison in 1996 while serving time on a murder rap. Over the years, other Lufthansa conspirators were killed and only one airline employee was ever convicted in the case. Most of the stolen loot is still missing. But for years, Acero has been under suspicion. A search last summer at Jimmy Burke's former home in Queens turned up partial human remains from a murder that led back to Acero. And prosecutors say Acero implicated himself in the Lufthansa holdup in taped conversations with FBI informants. In February 2011, Acero apparently complained he never got his full share of the robbery proceeds. We never got our right money what we were supposed to get, Acero told the informant. Jimmy kept everything. His lawyer said Acero was innocent. He was in court with four other alleged mobsters, all arrested this morning for various crimes dating back to the 60s, Scott. By the way, one of those charged is Thomas D. Fiore, currently believed to be the highest ranking member of the Bonanno crime family, not in prison. Curious, Bob, what took so long? Well, this is the cold case that really never went away. You know, over the years, the agents kept plugging away. Eventually, they found some evidence linking Acero back to Jimmy Burke, then using informants, and ultimately, Acero's own words, they were able to connect him to Lufthansa, Scott. Bob Orr in our Washington newsroom. Bob, thanks very much.